My name is Mark Dillon and I'm a recent graduate from the Product Design course in the Dublin Institute of Technology and the function of my project is to identify potential concussions in contact sports. So uh, one of the insights I gained from my research is something known as second impact syndrome. And this is basically when a player will receive a concussion and they're unaware that they've received a concussion and they continue to play on and this kind of second blow or this second impact that can lead to long-term illnesses or even be fatal. So I suppose the simplest way to describe my product is it's a gum shield with integrated sensors and these sensors can capture impact data during a game and wirelessly send the data back to the computer on the sideline where a member of the medical staff or like a sports scientist could uh, diagnose concussion in real time. The inspiration for my project came from my interest in contact sports and ice hockey in particular. One good example of second impact syndrome relates to a player known as Sidney Crosby. Basically he received a pretty nasty head injury in January 2011 and this rendered him injured for roughly about 12 months. But after some further examination from the medical staff they realised that he had received an initial injury in December 2010. So basically if Sidney Crosby had been wearing a gum shield like Memori, the medical staff would have realised he was injured earlier and it wouldn't have led to such a long injury time. So the initial concept from Memori was actually a helmet, but after doing some observation and research, it became quite clear that most impacts that cause concussion are received through the jaw, so the gum shield was really an obvious choice to place the sensors. The gum shield is also quite versatile, it's used in many contact sports from rugby, soccer, boxing, ice hockey and even Gaelic. The sensors I chose to use in Memori are an accelerometer, a magnetometer and a gyroscope. Together they're known as an inertial measurement unit. This will measure 9 degrees of freedom. This will give a medical staff or a sports scientist the ability to measure force, acceleration and movement through 3D orientation all in real time. So after carrying out some research with a neurosurgeon and a sports scientist, I became aware that not everyone has the same threshold for concussion. So one of the features in memory is the ability to set individual thresholds for each player. So for example, on a rugby team, all 15 players can be monitored on the same software, but each will have their own individual threshold. The prototype I have here is in its primitive stages. It simply uses an accelerometer. This allows us to measure force and acceleration and still highlights some of the key features of memory. It allows us to have individual thresholds for individual profiles. And once these thresholds are exceeded, the user is notified. So the main concept of memory is to create a product that will prevent injury and in some cases even death. One of the secondary advantages that came out of the project was a product that could really be used as a research tool to give us a greater understanding of concussion and head injuries.